it's the general election this Thursday and the Chamber has been pushing on four key priorities for all parties to take note of uh, and that we hope will fall in the inbox of the new government this Friday. Uh, firstly, we're pushing on getting those conditions for growth right. That's around delivering on infrastructure investment, uh, overhaul of the business rate system, better access to finance, and a taxation system that isn't punitive and doesn't label the business community as the bad guy. Uh, secondly, we've got a key theme around skills and employment. That's about making sure our education system is increasingly demand-led, but also around ensuring that we've got access to skilled migrant workers already in the UK and from further afield. Uh, and that's something that government can do now at the start of the Brexit negotiations, not having to wait two years to do. Thirdly, it's around place and making sure that economies like Doncaster and the Sheffield City region have got the powers, resources and authority they need uh, to drive growth locally. Um, places like the Sheffield City region know much more about how to grow their economy than mandarins in Westminster and Whitehall do, and it's about devolving that power and giving us the tools that we need to drive growth uh, from a local perspective. And then fourthly, of course, it's the big, big issue around Brexit. Uh, going into the EU referendum debate, there were two versions of Brexit being peddled. One was that isolationist little Englander version, and the other one was that truly globalist and outward-looking version. And for me, it's all about making sure, uh, whether you were a Remain or a Leave voter, that it's that second version, that outward globalist one, that becomes true, isn't at the forefront of our politicians' minds heading into those negotiations with the EU. Uh, so it'll be an interesting day on Friday as the results come in. Um, from the Chamber point of view, there are four very, very clear priorities that we would like government to be working on to grow our economy locally, regionally and nationally.